quick! What's your phone's wallpaper right now? You might want to change it to a shade of black if saving time and money sounds like a good deal. This trick only works on one screen type, though. And here's why. There are two popular types of smartphone screens at the moment, LCD and AMOLED. LCD means liquid crystal display. It's used in televisions, monitors, and many smartphone models. There are real crystals in it. They can emit their own light, but take from a light source behind them. This process eats a lot of battery power. But the black wallpaper trick won't work on this type of screen. Whenever the phone is active, it lights up every pixel you see, no matter what color it is. AMOLED is mostly used in newer smartphones. It has an active matrix and is made of organic material. It generates its own light and doesn't need backlighting. That's why it can turn off pixels and show a true black. It can save you a good amount of battery if you go for a pitch black wallpaper for your lock and home screens. LCD screens are still doing the job, but OLED technology is more progressive. It shows a wider range of colors. There are more shades of green and blue, for example. And white looks naturally white and not bluish. That's why pictures look more vibrant. It can also be made curved and foldable displays are possible because the screens can be really thin. But if you don't have an OLED screen and you want to save your battery, there are some battery-saving tips that will work for most phones. Go light. Most social media and communication apps have light, mini, or progressive web versions these days. They were originally designed for developing markets and phones that don't have very powerful processors. But many are available worldwide and work on most phones. They have all the basic features but require less space, run quicker, and eat less battery. Know your enemy. Consult battery usage and tap to find out which apps are having a feast on your battery. It will show your activity in different apps in proportion for the last 24 hours or 10 days. If you don't use an app that much, but it's on the top of the list, there might be a bug to blame. Try force closing and reinstalling it. If you're on Team OLED, opt for the dark mode. Most apps like social media and electronic readers now have it. It saves up to 60% of battery compared to regular versions of the apps. Plus, it's stylish and doesn't strain your eyes as much when you're using your phone in the dark. Adjust your built-in GPS. If you have an Android, switch to device-only location mode and disable Wi-Fi and Bluetooth scanning in location settings. On an iPhone, deactivate location services altogether or turn off features like Popular Near Me, Location-Based Ads, and Setting Time Zone in Location Services tab. Disable Hey Siri! Unless you really need your little helper to be activated by voice, it's a sure battery drainer as your gadget is always on the lookout for you to say the magical words. The same is true for Google Assistant. Plus, it's tracking your location to give you the most useful info. So turn it off unless you rely on it. Don't let your apps update automatically. Background App Refresh kindly takes care of keeping your apps up to date. It even studies your habits and does it before you normally activate the app. This is consuming a lot of battery. Disable it and update your favorite apps manually when you have enough battery to do so. Make sure all the features you don't need are off. Disable your hotspot unless you're sharing cellular data. Wi-Fi doesn't have to be on 24-7 either. Otherwise, your phone will be on constant open hotspot search. And keep your Bluetooth off whenever you aren't using a wireless headset. Reduce motion. Some phones have something called background motion. As you move, the gadget, app icons, and background seem to move in different dimensions. This effect eats up a lot of battery. Live and dynamic wallpapers do the same, so stick to something static. Do you really need vibration? Even when you're on silent mode and vibration is on, the energy usage is wild. In fact, turn down all the sounds your phone is producing for the love of its battery. If you have an Android, try one of the lock screen apps. You can customize it to show the most important things without constantly unlocking your phone. Notifications from the apps you choose, upcoming events, weather, music player, taking and sending selfies, 
Lock screen apps can do it all. You can even set its working hours to save even more battery. Manually turn off some pixels. You can install an app to do it on an OLED-based phone. Since it has so many pixels, you will hardly notice the difference. Possibly the screen may get a little darker. Depending on how much battery you want to save, you can choose how many pixels you want to disable. Deactivate data push. When it's on, your phone automatically downloads new emails from the server. It keeps you updated, but it's another massive battery drainer. An alternative option is to change how often your phone fetches new emails. Going down from every 15 minutes to every hour can make a huge difference. Clear your cache. Or send your excess cash to me! <laughs> Just kidding. Check if you have any unused or temporary files you don't need anymore and delete them. If you don't do this every once in a while, the phone can be overloaded and heat up more often and go hard on your battery.